All right. Hey guys, welcome to Hops and Brews. Today we're going to be reviewing Three Magnets O Juice. Hey guys, like I said, we're going to be reviewing Three Magnets O Juice. This is a New England style Imperial IPA. This beer comes in at 8.2% ABV, 40 IBUs. Untapped gives this beer an average rating of 4.10. Three Magnets Brewing Company is located at 600 Franklin Street Southeast, Suite 105, Olympia, Washington. This beer is a collaboration between Ollie Taproom and Three Magnets Brewing. Right away you get this sweet citrusy, a lot of orange note to it. And that's just like drinking orange peel, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. It's not super bitter. That's very smooth, very delightful. You taste a lot of orange. And you do taste hops, and they're just that right amount of tropical hops, uh, not overpowering, not over bitter. Clarity, I mean, it just, it's, it's yellow. It looks like Minute Maid. It smells and tastes like licking your fingers after you've peeled an orange. That's what this thing tastes like. It's fantastic so far. I mean, I'm, I'm super enjoying this beer. So, we're halfway through. So far, I am enjoying this beer. I mean, it literally tastes like I took an orange, squeezed some juice, threw some carbonation in it, and just started drinking it. The hoppy bitterness flavors that you get basically taste just like an orange rind. Um, it's a great balance of how it is. I love the body of this beer. It's not too thin, it's not too thick. It has that creamy uh, weediness, that dirty unfilteredness that gives us this ni nice body to it. At 8.2%, I don't taste 8.2%. This tastes like 6.5, you know, 6-ish. I don't get this acidy burn from the hops. Uh, it's very well balanced. It's a great beer. It smells fantastic. Uh, that's a wonderful beer. Good job. No complaints so far. That's a, that's a hard one. Wait, wait, wait. Take a drink. Is there something I can think of? Nope. So I'm really enjoying this beer because I've had a couple New England style beers where they focus on a lot of citrus fruits or tropical fruits and then it ends up burning the back of my throat because of the dankiness of the beer. This isn't doing that. It has stayed consistent throughout the whole entire process. I'm tasting orange. I'm smelling orange. I'm tasting hoppiness. I'm tasting some bitterness notes. Uh, it's got a really nice body and it's not burning the back of my throat making it so much easier to drink. And on top of that, this beer is heavier than those beers. This is 8.2%. It's fantastic. Super dangerous. I mean, it's like a blood orange, basically. It's ripping and... Whatever. I had a metaphor with something about like Frank Sinatra and a bag of oranges. Then I thought it would be a little too inappropriate. Honestly, I, I can't really find a downside to this beer. It's a great balance because 
it introduces people that don't really like hoppy beers to beers. It's very fruity. It's very um, presentable. I almost wish that they made this a standard or maybe just a yearly release or bi-yearly release. This would be a great like mimosa or something to make with cocktails or something. It's a great mixer. It's a great drinker. Um, it's all around fantastic. I, I can't really complain too much about it. The can even itself isn't awesome. It's like an you know OJ juice with a giant orange rind on it. It's fantastic looking. Um, Three Magnets, usually they put out some pretty cool stuff too. So, I mean, even as I swirl around, it looks like a cool galaxy in the center. With the foam. I mean, what, what beer does that? Oh, no. I just don't pay attention. I try to drink it before that time comes. It smells like orange. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, if I were to beat my kids, it would be with this beer. Wouldn't show any bruises. <laughs>